So today, ServiceNow is going to present to you one of our most common customer questions, how to integrate with AWS using our best practice of a credentialless, assume role-based integration. Uh, I'm Zach Sargent. I'm a product manager in the ITOM space, governing some of our, our cloud products and cloud integrations. And I'm here with Brian Quinn. Brian, you want to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Brian Quinn. I'm with the ITOM product success team, uh, focusing on uh, our cloud products. So the first step that we have to do is to set up a role or a policy for a mid-server inside of AWS. You want to go over that a little bit, Brian? Sure. So first, we'll take a look at my overall organization. So I have a demo, uh, demo organization here with a, uh, a management account and then two member accounts underneath it. Um, today we'll be setting up uh, member account one with this role uh, that the mid server will eventually use. Uh, so in my member account one, I've created a role called ServiceNow EC2 role, and I have granted it two policies. One policy is the read only access, uh, and the other uh, role is a custom policy that allows us to assume role into other accounts. In this case, I have, I have the policy set up to allow me to assume role into any other account. And I'm always going to assume role to this ServiceNow assumed role. And you're using that label as a, as a common label across multiple accounts, right? So if customers have like a hundred accounts, they're using that same label here. Yes, so this, this, uh, this role name would be created in all 100 accounts uh, if you were trying to assume role into all 100 accounts. Okay, and so then the next thing they would do is to set up the actual mid-server, right? And that's a regular EC2 instance. They would size that to meet whatever their expected discovery or provisioning demands were. How does this attach to that uh, instance? So in EC2, if you're looking at your instances, there should be a section for IAM role. This can be specified when you first provision it, or it can be added attached to the EC2 instance uh, after the fact. Um, but here I have, I make sure to attach this role um, to the EC2 instance running the mid server. Uh, one thing to, to note, uh, when, you, when, you, when I created this role, it's important to make sure that the trust relationship is to the identity provider EC2, um, which will allow this role to be attached to an EC2 instance and will allow this EC2 instance to then have those permissions. Okay, now this is set up in one of the member accounts, right? So this is a regular VPC, a regular EC2 instance, uh, nothing terribly special here. To get the whole organization though, we're gonna have to have some trust from the master account, right? Can you, can you show us what that looks like? Sure. So in our master account or the management account, uh, I also have a role. And as we were talking about before, uh, I'm using this label service now assumed role. So I have this role created with a trust relationship back to the EC2 role that from the mid the account running the mid server. Um, so this will trust back to that that role and allow us to assume role into the master account. And for this particular role, I've granted read-only access so I can discover all the resources within this account. And I've also attached the AWS organization's read-only access, which will allow ServiceNow to discover all the member accounts underneath uh, in the organization. So for the member accounts, once we've discovered those, is there something else that needs to happen here from within the uh, serve uh, the uh, AWS console. Yeah, so then each of our uh, additional member accounts will also need the same IAM role. Uh, so again, we're using the label ServiceNow assumed role in this case uh, with the same trust relationship back to uh, the account running the mid server uh, and the role that's attached to that EC2 instance. Uh, for this particular member account, um, I have read only access. Uh, which is required anytime you want to discover the resources within the account. In this case, I also have another custom policy to allow provisioning, uh, which you could build upon uh, as needed if you're using uh, the cloud provisioning governance product. 
Cool. So that would allow us to deploy things into this account. Yes. All right. I guess from here, let's go back to the ServiceNow instance. So if I've freshly set up my mid server in EC2, where would I find that? So you find it under your normal mid server list. You'd have to validate it as normal. Um, you you uh, make sure you have the AWS capability attached to it. Uh, and then under configuration parameters, we want to add a new configuration parameter for mid.aws.instanceprofile name. And this we want to make sure it's set to the role that is attached to the EC2 instance um, and that we assigned all the, the policies to. Okay. And so that's our cue for this mid server to understand that we can assume role then from within ServiceNow. Yes. Okay. So from here, how do we move forward towards discovery if we're setting up some kind of service account, I guess, that's using this? Yeah. So at this point, we would create service accounts. Um, we would create, uh, at the very least, we would create um, the member account uh, that has the, the AWS uh, mid-server running in it. Um, we would create this. We would leave the credentials blank. Uh, since we're going to use the delegated uh, permissions and assume roles. Uh, the parent account, at this point, you can leave blank. Uh, we will eventually auto-discover that. Uh, and the accessor account should be blank. Uh, so, and the is master account should be false. Uh, after creating the member account, you can create the master account as well. Uh, and again, discovery credentials are we're going to leave blank because we're going to assume role. Uh, parent account. Uh, is is empty and is master is true. And the important part is setting the accessor account to point to the service account that has the mid server running in it. Okay, so once we have our, our first two accounts here, the, the sub account where the mid server lives and the master account, can we discover the, the remaining accounts? What, uh, what, what do we do next? So before we can discover uh, the other member accounts, we do need to set up one other piece. And that is under um, the cross assume roles table. So we will set up a record here that says when I am trying to access the uh, master account or the management account, I am going to assume use this role name to assume into. So I'll create a, a record here in the cross assume role table. Uh, so ServiceNow knows what role to assume. And then once this is created, now I should be able to go to my service account and I should be able to do both a discover data centers and a refresh sub accounts. And the refresh sub accounts here should discover uh, all of my other member accounts. Okay, Not so we should see that second sub account here then. Yeah, so now if you look at the cloud of service accounts, now there are both uh, both member account one and member account two. Now, can I just create a discovery schedule for member account two from here? Or is there something else that I need to link in? So at this point, we've created this service account for member account two, but we do need to go back and create the cross assume, uh, cross -assume role uh, parameter for the member account two. So I can go in here, uh, select new, uh, this cloud service account will be my member account too. And the uh, access role name will be the service now assumed role. And now we should be ready to set up discovery um, for all three accounts. Uh, this process right now is manual, but it could be automated through business rules if there's a uh, a logic that you can apply to automatically uh, create these records. So like we were saying before, if a customer had a hundred sub accounts, they could use a business rule here to you know, automatically fill that in for those sub accounts, as long as they're using the same label. Yep. Yep. So you could have a business rule anytime a new service account is created to also create a, a record in this table as well. Awesome. So let's go create some discovery schedules. All right, so from here, we can launch, go to Discovery Schedules and Cloud Discovery, which will launch our wizard. 
we can select the provider, it's AWS. Uh, schedule name, uh, AWS or discovery. We will select the account. We will select the management account. We will leave credentials blank. We should be able to test. Moment of truth. All right, so we should be able to, should show that it was validated. We should already have the member accounts discovered here, but we could always do a refresh again. Um, if there were any accounts that we missed, they would pop up here, uh, but you would have to go create the cross assume role record again. Um, we go to next. We can select data centers. We do want to do a refresh data centers here to make sure that all of the um, member accounts have the logical data centers discovered. Uh, so we just wanna make sure you click on that button. In this case, I want my discovery schedule to discover all my data centers. So I'll leave this toggled on. We have the option to kick off a horizontal discovery uh, afterwards. In this case, I don't want that. So I'm gonna turn this off. And now I can create the schedule, finish and run for the first time. Cool. So from here, if we had more that we were gonna do once we have discovery done, let's say that we had cloud provisioning and governance, we could then once this completes, go set up our cloud accounts and set up our permissions for provisioning into that, correct? Yes, so we would have to make sure, uh, like I showed before, we would have to make sure our um, member accounts that we're provisioning into have a, an appropriate policy with all the appropriate permissions. And then you would go through the normal uh, CPG setup for creating a cloud account and choosing what logical data centers um, are, are associated with that cloud account. Great. Hey, thanks, Brian. I think this is gonna be a big help for folks. Thank you.